Welcome, welcome, welcome those from across the world, those in this community. Welcome, welcome to live prayer. It's time to pray. It's time to seek God. It's lunch break for those who are on lunch break. Those replay watchers, welcome. God is coming in on the scene in your life. And he says, let the river flow. Let my river flow. Let my river flow in your life today. Go ahead and tag someone in this live broadcast. If you know somebody in need, you know somebody that loves to pray, you know somebody that wants more of God, this is for you. I'm going to go ahead and do it myself. I'm going to go share it and tag. I can share it and I'm going to tag some people maybe if I can do that. Share it right now. Welcome. We're about to pray. You're just jumping on. We're about to pray. The Lord gave me a word and I'm going to speak it. And I'm not gonna, I'm not going to shut my mouth. I'm gonna speak the word of the Lord. Amen. If you have your player language, I want you to begin to, de- to pray in the Holy Ghost. Begin to stir up yourself in the Holy Ghost. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, my friends, how are you doing? I miss you. I miss you. I'm there in, in the spirit with you. I know you've been seeking God today. Ha. I'm a part of a group called the core group, y'all. You're just jumping on. We're in revival. If you want to be a part of a community that is seeking God, and not only seeking God, finding God, and seeing signs, miracles, and wonders. God is moving in the, the earth. Do you want to be a part of it? If you don't know about the core group, I am. I will let you know. Message me. I'll get you involved today. Revival's happening with men and women. The men of the house. The men of the house are arising. My husband. Other. The men of God is arising. The men of God are arising and taking their place. Women are getting set free and taking the place. The Debras and the Esthers and the Davids are arising in the name of the Lord. Also, the children are arising. Revival is hit in the earth. Do you want to be a part of what God is doing? This past weekend, me and my husband, working, we were with our spiritual mother, our spiritual mother and father, and we get to be a part of this ministry. We were there with them, and we literally saw the tangible presence of the Lord come down, the demonstration of the Godhead come down, and the glory of the Lord filled every man, every woman, every life. Be- people begin to speak in tongues. Children got their heavenly language. Men got delivered. Men rose up and began to take their place. Women begin to shake off insecurity and worthlessness, and they begin to step in to what God has called them to step in. The- God is doing a thing in this earth. Are you a part of that thing? Are you a part of that thing? And I'm going to say to you, if you're a part of this weekend, this past weekend in the core group, the retreat we just came out of, don't let anything steal what God has imparted to you. How do I protect it? Pray in the Holy Ghost. Read your Bible. Begin, continue to share what God has done. Don't let anything stifle it because God says, I'm calling you to carry my glory to your neighborhood, to your family, to your children, to your parents. I'm calling you to wake up the church. Your local church is dead. God says, I'm calling you to carry my glory everywhere you go. So don't get stagnant. Know that spiritual warfare is right there. But God says, I'm stabilizing you in my river. This is what the Lord said to me. Rivers of living water, get into my river. Get into my river. God is saying, I'm going to flow out of your belly, out of your mouth. God says, I have rivers of living water. Get in the river of God. Let the river of God lead you and guide you. The Lord told me this. There are people that have their hands on their life. God says, put your hands in mine and I will lead you. I will guide you. My river will lead and guide you. He said, I want to lead and guide you. In my river, there is fullness of joy. In my river, there is healing for every broken place. In my river, there is emotional healing. There is emotional stability where you go from being worried and depleted, from being filled, healed, and filled with his spirit. God says, I'm leading you and guiding you. 
You're the one blocking me. He says, take your hands off. Get your hands off of your life and let me lead. He's called us to be an active, the active part of our miracle. If we don't let go of the reins of our life and put it in the spirit of God, God's hands, we will never see signs, miracles, and wonders. God is saying, let go so I can bring healing and restoration to your life into the lives around you. It's time to step in the river. God says no more up and down. He says step into the river. You're up and down is because I'm not leading. You're up and down. Your Christianity is up and down. One minute you're okay. The next minute you're down. If you, He says if you let me lead, you will never go up and down. My spirit, my river will steady you. I've called to steady you through every child, through every, every place in your life. You're not called to be up and down like the waves. You're called to be steadied by my river. He says, get in the river. Worry is not in my river. Anxiety is not in my river. He says, my river brings peace. My river brings comfort. Those of you who have suffered with a broken heart, God says, I'm restoring you now. He says, I'm restoring you now. Get in my river. How do I get in the river? I'm glad you asked that. You begin to ask the Holy Ghost to fill you now. It's awesome to be saved and love Jesus. But to be filled with the Holy Ghost is the game changer in your life. The, the day where you said, yes, Jesus. Some of you I, I feel for the Spirit. Some of you need to rededicate your life to the Lord. He's saying, I need a fresh yes. I need a fresh yes because there's things that you, you have put in your life, things that you said yes to in this world cannot mix with my spirit. He says it's time to get your heart right. It's time to let go of what's weighing you down. And a lot of you, you're the one weighing you down. You are weighing you down because you continue to allow influence of this world in your life, in your children's lives, in your marriage. God says, I called you to be pure, holy, and set apart. Purity is coming back to the body of Christ. Do you want to be filled? Do you want the purity of the Holy Ghost? Do you want things to shift in your life? God's not playing games. He's coming back for a bride without spot or wrinkle. God says, I am calling my bride to myself. I'm calling my bride. We're here to pray. We need to pray for those in the church, those in the world that are dead in their sins. They're dead in religion. They're dead. They're wondering why. They're wondering, what's the missing link? God says, take me out of the box. I will not contend with religious rules. I will not contend with what is going on in the church. My glory can't be present whenever there are barriers, when man's understanding and wisdom is in the way. God is saying, surrender everything. Surrender it all. Surrender what you've been taught about me. Surrender what, what, um, what has been spoken into your life about me because I want to give you a new fire. I'm going to tell you this. When I came to the Lord, uh, when I gave my life to the Lord 11 years ago, my mentor told me this. Everything you have been taught about God, what you've seen being raised in the church, put it to the fire of the word of God. He wants to remove every impurity. Some of you have to relearn who God is because how you've been taught was not right. God is saying, I want to take you to new levels. You wonder why you have always stayed stagnant. You always go up and down in your Christianity. Things are never stable. You always get tossed by the wind. Something's not right in your foundation. Your soil needs tending to. He's called you to be a well-watered garden. He wants to water you today. So in the name of Jesus, I declare the rivers of living water over you. Rivers, rivers 
flow in the name of Jesus. I declare the rivers of living water over you. I speak a fresh baptism of Holy Ghost and fire in your belly right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I speak it over you right now. Fire, fire, fire in the Holy Ghost. I even saw this just now. God says, it's time to anoint your house with oil. It's time to give your whole life back to the Lord. It's time to dedicate your home, your children, your whole entire business, every part of your life to the Lord. There are some areas that we say, I'll give to the Lord, I've given it. It's easy to give certain things, but the hard things, it's hard to surrender, right? Your way of doing business, your way of raising your children. God says, no more, I'm going to put you in my river because in my river will be everything you need to raise your children the way I have called you to raise them. Some of, some, some of our households are out of order. God says, I'm going to put things in order in your household. Your understanding, your wisdom, how you were conditioned, how you were taught by man, by your parents. Some of the things aren't right according to God. He's saying, I'm restructuring your home. It's time to grab your oil and begin to anoint your house. Say, Father, I invite you in. God, if my house is out of order, show me. Show me by your spirit how you want it to function, what you want to stay, what needs to go. I surrender. I surrender my home. This home belongs to the Lord. My children belong to the Lord. My marriage belongs to the Lord. It's time to give it up. Give it up. I don't care what it costs. I'll get rid of it. To, I'll get rid of that movie. I'll get rid of that vase that that thing is attached to. There are things in your household. There are spirits attached to things. And you wonder why strife rises up. You wonder why there's fear in the middle of the night with your children. Begin to ask the Holy Spirit, what is in this household? What is happening in the atmosphere? Because when you dedicate your house to the Lord, it belongs to Him. So what doesn't belong to Him has to go. Fear has to go in the name of Jesus. Lennon and I live this way. We anoint our house. We anoint our kids. When God says, go right now, I wake up and I go. I, 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 we, we see literal demonic images try to come in our household. You know why? Because they, we have the blood on us. The blood of Jesus marks us. So they want to come after us. But we know to apply the oil. You cannot stay in the name of Jesus. I command you to leave. It's time to take, it's time to take what God has given you and surrender it to him. We've got to let it go. We've got to let go of how we think our children should be raised. How we think our house should hold should be ran. Let me just say this as a wife. How I speak to my husband is not how I think I should speak to him. Even as women, God is saying, I'm going to teach you to be a wife, to be a helpmate, to be a woman. Filled with the Holy Ghost, led by the Holy Ghost. Not what Krista wants to say, but what does the Spirit of God want to say through me today? Because not anything goes. It's time to... to Allow the Holy Spirit, it's, it's, a, it's time to allow the tongues of fire, to the coals of fire to be put on our tongue because we've spoken too much. We've said, we said things that's not according to God's will and purpose. We want to know why our marriages aren't shifty, why miracles aren't happening. we got to get this right according to God's word. He's saying, I want rivers of living water to flow in you and out of you in the river What's in here has to go. It's got to go. If y'all have a prayer request, I want you to post it in the comments. But I want to pray over you today that rivers flow, rivers flow, rivers flow. Depression can't stay when the river of God is there. Fear can't stay when the river of God is there. Healing and signs and wonders. God wants to turn your life around. God is wanting to move and breathe in you today. I speak Holy Ghost fire over you today in the name of Jesus. I speak all barriers, every barrier that has set itself up against the knowledge of Christ. Go in the name of Jesus. I speak 
healing over your life. I speak healing over your marriage. I speak healing over your children. All relationships be made whole and healed in the name of Jesus. I even see there's people that's needing to release forgiveness. So it's time. This is where your block is. We've got to be willing to be flexible in, in the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Spirit says release forgiveness, when the Holy Spirit says cut ties with this one, when the Holy Spirit says do this, don't do this, we've got to be obedient. We've got to do this because when we don't, it's disobedience. And with disobedience, that's an open door to the enemy. We want to know why he comes back in our life, why there's greater attack on our life. Because we are obedient. We've got to be obedient. This is an invitation into a deeper place with him. I'm saying God is wanting, God is wanting to have conversation with you. God is wanting to take you deeper in the depths of his throne room. He's wanting to train you by his spirit. He wants to fill you with his living water so that you can go out into your community, so you can speak to your family, so that the things in your community can begin to shift he says, I've called you to carry my fire to the people around you in the name of Jesus. Desiree, I'm going to cover you right now. If you're on, I want you to pray right now in the Holy Ghost. Complete healing throughout her body. My daughter's been getting attacked at night. In the name of Jesus, Desiree, I speak to your body right now. Be healed. I come against every infirmity. Get out in the name of Jesus. I declare the living water to flow from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Live, live. I declare live in the name of Jesus. Wholeness, wholeness in the name of Jesus. And I speak over her daughter. Desiree's daughter right now. All attacks. I declare rest over this little girl. I speak rest over you. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic spirit that has been visiting her at night. I say no more. I say leave in the name of Jesus. You have no access. This daughter belongs to the Lord in the name of Jesus. I speak, be filled, daughter, with the Spirit of God. As you sleep, you shall rest. I prophesy this over you in the name of Jesus. Desiree, I want you to ask the Holy Spirit. This is what I do. Ask the Holy Spirit, is there anything in this room? Is there any influence in her life? Right now, is there, did, is there an open door to the demonic in my daughter's life? And wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord and he will show you what to do. Anybody else need prayer? I want to pray for you. I want to say this. Every woman, every man, every person who has breath in your lungs, you have an assignment on your life. Your first assignment is to be loved by your Father in heaven. I even heard the rivers of living water is wanting to bring you back to the place he formed you. What is the river of living water? It is the Spirit of God. You were formed before the foundation of the earth was ever formed. You were, you were formed by the hand of the Lord. And the Lord is wanting to bring you back to where he formed you to show you your identity. In that place, worthlessness cannot stay. Fear cannot stay. Fear of the future cannot stay. I'm not enough cannot stay. Every weight cannot stay. He wants to reveal to you who you are in me. He says, I'm bringing you back to the place where I formed you to show you I did it well. I formed you in my image and I've called you by my spirit. I have cut you from my mold. Therefore, I don't make junk. God says, I am anointed you for this time. I'm calling you to be led by my spirit so that you can walk 
according to my word so that the world can know who I am. You know what? What you just said, Janet. Prayers for what God is calling me to do. I'm going to tell you this. As I sought the Lord, and I know you do this, as you seek Him in spirit and truth and led by His Spirit every day, that means Janet, get, Janet gets her hands off of her life, right? Krista gets her hands off of my life. I'm studying the Word. I'm creating a discipline. And I'm doing stuff that I don't want to do, right? What happens is our flesh does not want to read the Word, okay? And so we go back to our original state. When we're not built up in the Holy Spirit, we tend to go back to our flesh, right? God says, if you would read my word, the fire of my word will be birthed in your belly. And as you read my word, it will lead you to what you're called to do. Like I said, the rivers of living water wants to bring you back to the place where God formed you. And when he begins to show you your identity in him, the very thing you're called to do will be birthed. Do you understand? Listen, I've lived this. 11 years ago, I was living in my drug dealer's car. I was living in my drug dealer's house, out in my car. I was hooked on drugs, hooked on pornography, doing God knows what. God delivered me, set my feet on a foundation. His word is my foundation. So everything that was that my life was built on, I surrendered to the Lord. I began to surrender my past, my present, and my future to the Lord every day, even when I wanted to give up. Don't give up, daughter. God says, don't give up, daughter. I speak, Father God, right now as she seeks you. As Janet seeks you, God, that she will find you. I speak greater levels in the Holy Ghost. I declare that what you were called to do and assigned to do on this earth shall come to you in the name of Jesus. My first assignment as a daughter, let me tell you with the Lord, my first assignment was <laughs> to rest in his love. I had no love in my life before I came to Christ. I didn't know how to love. I never was shown a pure image of love. God says, I want to show you he wants to sh he said I want to show you my love so you can love yourself and you can begin to love the others in a pure way I didn't love myself when I looked at myself in the mirror I thought I was ugly I had no self-esteem I was in I was in rehab coming off of meth I had no, I had nothing I you gonna tell you what I didn't have I saw demons I saw demons in broad daylight I was literally demonized I thought that was it, that my life was over, okay? I went from a place of wondering who I was in Christ, and I went to the secret place. Every day, I began to seek the Lord. God, help me accept your love. God, help me know how to love myself. God, help me know how to accept myself. When, that when I look in the mirror, that I don't, I'm not disgusted. God begin to heal me from the inside out. My first assignment was to learn to rest in the Father's love. And guess what? That's still my first assignment. Where do I go? I go to the throne room. I go to the throne room and I say, Father God, I'm a mom of three. I got, I got a husband. I got these assignments as, as a mother to steward the gift that God has given me so that they can be kingdom ambassadors. I have a, 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 an assignment to lead my, to, um, to raise my husband up, to be the helpmate that I'm called to be, to hold him up and be his armor bearer, right? That's our assignment. I can't do it without the love of Christ being my first assignment. My first assignment is to rest in the Father's love. And from there, everything you are called to do will come out of. I begin to learn to rest in his love. I begin to stay there. And when I stayed there, I begin to love others. When I looked at people and I saw that they had demonic activity, the Lord began to show me all this. 
I saw addiction. I saw all this in rehab. People coming off of drugs and the Lord was doing a work in me. I began to show them love. They saw a girl that, that was changed. Wait, how are you changed? But why are you here? And I said, young daughter, I was where you were five months ago. Look at me now. God has transformed my life because I learned to rest in the love of the Father. I learned to be led by the Father. I learned to sit in the river of the living God. God took a broken woman and made me a mouthpiece for him. You were called and anointed by God. Don't you ever question. Don't ever question he has called you to be an ambassador to your community. You can't do it on your own. You can't do it with your wisdom. You can't do it with your understanding. Stop trying and begin to seek the Father. Begin to get in your word. You, do, you don't have the fire in you without getting into the throne of God because the fire comes from the throne of God. The anointing comes from the throne of God. The, the anointing comes with a cost. He says, let me saturate you in me. So when the world looks at you, they don't see you, they see me. I speak a holy boldness over every man and woman of God that is on here. I declare every muzzle come off in the name of Jesus. Every muzzle, every single rope that has been around your neck, I Sever it in the name of Jesus. Get up and begin to speak the word of the Lord, what God has done in your life. Begin to declare it. Begin to declare it to everyone around you. The boldness of the Holy Ghost I speak over your life in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lacey, I'm praying for your marriage right now. If you, have, if you need prayer in your marriage, every marriage needs prayer. Let me just say this. It doesn't matter what season of life you're in. Every marriage needs prayer. You hear me? I need prayer every day. Because every season and every, every place that God brings me and my husband in, there's another, there's another, um, spirit, there's another spirit, spiritual barrier that is, that is keeping us from stepping into it. I have to know how to stand. I have to know how to war. I have to know how to fast to raise my husband up. I have to know what to say, how to do it. Because let me tell you, Krista's got herself in trouble when I open my mouth. God is closing our mouths. Don't open your mouth unless the Holy Spirit is speaking through you. Listen, I used to, I was the worst talker. Y'all listen to this. I, every other word was a curse word with me. I, let me tell you, the Lord has purified my mouth. If he can do it for me, he can do it for you. I speak in the name of Jesus, the grace, God, the strength, the wisdom over every single son and daughter that is married right now to be the spouse you are called to be. I speak right now. Give them everything they need to stand as they seek you, God. I pray right now that the things that are um, are standing, that standing itself against the knowledge of Christ, I speak, come to the surface now. Every single thing that is a problem, I speak, come to the surface. Holy Ghost, I pray right now that you would give Lacey and Tubby, God, what they need to carry on. Father God, I declare healing over their marriage. I speak against the hand of the enemy that has tried to wreck them. I bind the hand of the enemy and I speak the angels of the Lord over this union right now. I declare that God's will shall prevail in your marriage in the name of Jesus. No more fooling around with Satan. I even hear the Lord say that God has spoken to you about certain things that it's time to go. It's time to disconnect from. It's time to rearrange. It's time to let go of some relationships, some things. God is speaking to you, Lacey. It's time to yield to the Lord. I know for me, when I seek God, God begins to tell me things. It's time to let go of. It's time to declare, okay? He's going to give you what to do in this season right now. God is going to bring full restoration to your marriage, Lacey. Do you hear me? 
You know I'm raising you up. I declare peace over your marriage. I rebuke the spirit of strife that has come over your marriage. I speak over every word curse that's been spoken. I break it in the name of Jesus. And I speak that this marriage shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I declare this marriage shall be the display of how Christ laid his life down from the, for the church. I declare over you, Lacey, strength, strength, strength in the name of Jesus. Stop trying to act like you've got it all together. Girl, though God is saying, let go in my presence. Let it go, let it go, let it go. There's too many word curses of divorce that's been spoken in that marriage. Begin to come against it right now, Lacey. Every word curse that's been spoken, even between you and your husband, begin to renounce it. Begin to begin to anoint your home today. I feel that. Does anybody else need prayer? Did I miss anybody? Does anybody want to come on screen so I can pray for you? I could do that too. Listen, I'm going to tell you, I don't care what I look like for Jesus. I don't care anymore. I'm loud. I'm bold. I don't care anymore. A lot of people say, a lot of people told me, you don't have to do all that. I'm telling you, I've been said, I've been told this. I look different. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I said, I'm giving it all. My spiritual mom says, this is the year of extreme, extreme obedience. Whatever God's telling you to do, do it with all your might. I'm done pleasing man. I'm done. I'm done seeking approval from man. God says, I'm your leader. I'm the one that's going to lead and guide you. Get in my river, says the Lord. Get in my river. Let me lead you. God says, I want to burn you with fire my fire so the impurities can come to the surface I'm purifying you I'm calling you deeper you might be in this community you might be in in um where are we at the fish parish if you're not connected to the refuge the fire of the Holy Ghost is here revival has been poured out and I want to invite you to our page Okay, if you're jumping on, I want you to put in Lighthouse Worship Center. No, no, I'm sorry. That's my church. I got to say. Which you can do that too. But the Refuge at Lighthouse, okay? Connect to our page. We're going to be live tomorrow talking about what God has done, testifying. And I have my core sister, Kayla Osborne, if you're on. Throw some hearts. If you're on right now, she's going to be testifying of the things of the Lord. I want you to jump on. And then Friday, my husband and I, we are, it's called Fire Friday. And we bring the word at 12 p.m. 12 p.m. both days. We do 12 p.m. on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And this week, the, today's prayer, tomorrow's um, um, testifying, and Friday is Fire Friday. The word, and then we bring people on to do whatever the Lord is wanting to do. And we see, we've seen God move so much. And then Monday nights we have an in-person thing. But he, I can tell you about all that later. But anyway, let's see. Is there any more prayer requests? Glory to be to God. Glory to God. Glory. Yes, glory to God. Praise the Lord. Guys, God is so good. He is so good. He is so good. Has anybody been facing anything that you want me to join in with you right now? I want to pray right now. I want to pray. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be in your community, in your family, and if you're up against something. I want to pray for you. Let me just say this. I told you, I told this, I said this earlier. The Lord told me, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. More than you pray in your, and more than you pray in English. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost more than you talk in the day. He says, I'm trying to train you in my spirit. Because whenever you pray in the spirit of God, it's the spirit praying through you. So if the spirit is praying through you, the enemy cannot deceive you. When you pray, for, when the Holy Spirit prays through you, the, the will of the Father is being sent to the atmosphere. Okay, we don't know what it sounds like. It's, it, we don't know what God is saying through us a lot of times. It doesn't matter because whatever God is speak, praying through you is what God will. So that's what we want. We, we, want, we don't even know if we're praying for people in our community. We don't know if we're praying for an accident that's about to happen. We don't know what we're covering. We don't know. We don't know.
don't know. But God says pray in the Holy Ghost because when we're praying in the Holy Ghost, deception can't get you. Negativity can't come your way. Let me just say this. And when you pray in the Holy Ghost, when gossip does come your way and you're speaking to someone and gossip begins to surface and it's coming at you, you are going to be more willing to shut it down because you've been, you've been with the Holy Ghost. The more you're with the Holy Ghost, the more you begin to speak like the Holy Ghost. The more you begin to walk like Jesus. The more boldness you have to be, to be a um, disciple of the King. He wants to grow you. He wants to grow you. Okay, Desiree, I want to ask you a question. Do, do you have your heavenly language? Just a question. It's not, it's not to, to shame you, because guess what? At one point, when I gave my life to the Lord, I didn't, I didn't have I, I didn't have my heavenly language. This is vital. This is vital for every believer. You will say, oh, that, you know, I don't need that. Yes, you do. You need the full package. You need the Trinity. Father, Father God, Son, which is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was a promise. He said, I'm going to fill you. I'm going to fill you. Because the infiltration of the Holy Ghost is the comforter, is everything you need. It's the Spirit of God in you. You believe you do? Okay, so Desiree, as a sister in Christ, I want to, I want to encourage you to pray. In the, are you in the core group? Are, are you connected to Jenny? Because if you're connected to Jenny, you need to be on every broadcast. You need to be ever. You need to be gleaning from her because God has. She she is. She's my spiritual mom, and I'm sure. I'm, I think she. I think you're in the core. Are you in the core? Yes, you just joined. God's about to wreck your world. He's about to reorganize your life. The what is on her life? God has anointed her to raise up the fivefold ministry. God has anointed her to, to mentor women and men to rise in their place. Continue to, to get, be connected to this platform. Because let me tell you, God is going to do a work in your life. I have been in, in core group for how long? Let's see, has it been? 2021, before the revival broke out in April. The couple months before that. Was it a month before that? I can't even remember now. 2021. Y'all, I've been with the Holy Ghost. You want, you know, with the Holy Ghost, you forget about timeline because God's leading and guided you. But anyway, ever since I've been in the core, God says, connect to Jenny, connect to this. And it's not, it's not Jenny, you guys. Y'all, it's the Holy Ghost in her. It's her consecration. It's her yes. It's the Holy Spirit moving through her. Okay? That is what he's wanting to do in your life. You see her life. This is a demonstration of the power of the Holy Ghost. But that couple... They are showing a clear example of how Christ laid his life down for the church and gave his life up for the church. What is on their life will flow down from the top to your life. So whatever is, whatever is the blockage, the Holy Spirit is wants to come in. But let me just say, you're going to receive spiritual growth. You're going to receive personal growth. Stay connected. Get on. Every time the intercessory prayer is on, the Monday um, deliverance, everything. Just do it all. Just do it all. Be, if you can be there at... Um, at the, at the retreats and the conferences, I will encourage you to do it, okay? Kids core group is coming in there too. Revi the the uh, camps are gonna be coming soon. They have men core. You gotta, get in, you gotta get into it because let me just say, that's what God is doing. He is trying to get his glory everywhere. The glory of the Lord is wanting to purify the body of Christ, is wanting to purify and bring correction, bring provision, bring everything we need, everything that has been lacking in the church. God is saying, I am coming to fill, but things have to be removed. Begin to, begin to pray and fast and ask the Holy Spirit, what is this block? So I'm going to pray right now over you, Janet. In the name of Jesus, I speak your Holy Ghost fire to, to show Janet, God, exactly what is going on. God, reveal to her. Give her insight. I speak a wall of fire of your Holy Ghost around your marriage, around you, your, your children, your whole household, your marriage, around your whole life. I speak it in the name of Jesus. Father God, go in, Lord Jesus, and let your glory rest on her. God, come in and bring insight. Come in and bring provision. Come in and bring, oh God, what has been lacking. Let your spirit reveal. Rosarabasha karabashi. Rorabai yaradaya sorabaka. Rane ananana yaradashi. Rodaki yarabosha nananamashi. 
Mama ia la 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 va, si di di andro la va, si. Rosa la va, si di di andro la va, ca. I break every, every single word curse that's been spoken over your life. I break it in the name of Jesus. Every word curse that said you won't live, that you won't achieve what God is calling you to. I, re, I break every word curse of I'm worthy. I don't know what I'm called to do. I break these word curses. God is going to empower you to do mighty things for his kingdom in the name of Jesus. Be empowered by the Holy Ghost. Dig into the Holy Ghost. Dig into your word. Dig into your secret place. Let that be what you do. He wants to bring order to your life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God's so good. You guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off this live video, but we're going to be live tomorrow at 12 p.m. testifying about what God has done. Who is ready? Y'all, I have uh, my sister in Christ, Kayla Osborne, coming on live. She's going to be testifying. We're going to let the Holy Ghost move. God has done so much. He's done so much. You're welcome. You're welcome, Desiree. You're welcome, Janet. I love y'all. I love you guys. I truly love you. I'm not just saying that. When the Holy Spirit gets a hold of you, you can't help but love the people around you. You can't help, you can't help but love the stranger with the sticky armpits. You can't help love the person that don't look like you, that don't sound like you, that don't talk like you. You can't help love the people around you. It's a, it is a ministry of love. That's what Jenny says. My spiritual mom. Our spiritual mom, those core sisters that you're on here. Deliverance is the, is, is, is the ministry of love. God is wanting to deliver his people. Will you be an active part? We're going to be here next Wednesday at 12 again. Join us, set your, set your alarms. But tomorrow at 12, we have our, our testimony time. I'm so excited. God bless you guys. If you have been encouraged and you receive from this tax money in this video, share it to your personal page. God's going to move and breathe, even in the replays. Y'all, with the Father, there is no distance. The Holy Ghost power will go through the airwaves and hit anyone in any home. I've seen deliverance happen through the airwaves, okay? In my dreams, I've been, I've been moved to one place from, from one place to another. I'm telling you. I will tell you that story later. It, it's, it's amazing what God does. Anyway, I love y'all. Be blessed. Um, and I will talk to you later. Bye.